Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on Conics for Coneheads. This is part three of four series video answers on degenerative case for this particular one. Now, I took a long path for this one, and it turned out there's a shortcut for this one. So in this clip, I'll show you both ways. Let's write it. This is a shortcut. And then this is a long hike. Okay, so let's start with the long hike. I didn't recognize this one was a degenerative case, so I went ahead started doing the completing square, which I'll share with you over here. So I did it rearranged a little bit over here. Then I put a 9 out here, and then it's x squared plus 2x. Add something, subtract something. Okay. Right now, hopefully, it's old news for you now. Add something minus something equal to zero. And then I have nine. I'm going to put a magic number here is half the coefficient squared. So for our case, it's one. x plus one squared minus one. Minus, same thing here, half of minus six squared. That's a nine. I'll put a nine in there. Minus the first three cases, minus three squared, minus nine. Okay, so, so far so good. I didn't see anything until I finished the next step, but then I realized all the lines is going to cancel out. Minus 3 squared and then plus 9 equal to 0. So as you can see, I had 3x plus 1, the whole thing squared, because this is 3 squared, and then minus y minus 3 squared equal to 0. Okay. Once I got here, I recognize I have a degenerative case because here, using a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b, a plus b, I was able to factor it, even though it's a little messy, 3x plus 3 minus y minus 3, Let's keep steps simpler, and then plus y minus 3 equal to 0. So I have two lines. Okay, because setting this one equal to 0, I would have 3x plus 6 minus y equal to 0. That's the line 1. And line 2 is 3x plus y equal to 0. Okay, so I have two lines here. Now from here, you can just pretty much graph it. Okay. Let's see, one line goes like this, and the one line goes like that. This is a long way. It's not too bad, but it, it is tedious. So let me show you what the shortcut is. Now, before we do that, math break. Take a look at those pictures. Those hikers, well, actually professional climbers, they're parachuting down into the valley of Yosemite because they want a shortcut. Wouldn't that be kind of cool if you have math shortcuts like this? All right, back to math. Okay, sure. Shortcut. You have 9x squared minus y squared plus 18x plus 6y equal to 0. Okay. Now, if you recognize this one, I regroup it a little differently. If you group those two, and you have a, th uh, actually, group those two together. You have a 3x minus y times 3x plus y. Okay, this is, again, it's a squared minus b squared form. Plus, let's put 6 out here, so we have 3x plus y equals 0. I'm running out of room here. Okay. Now, pull the 3x plus y out. You have 3x minus y plus 6 equals 0. And what do you know? You have exactly the same line. 3x plus y equals 0, just like here. And 3x minus y plus 6 equals 0, just like this one. Okay, so either way, you end up with a degenerative case of two lines instead of two curves. And then I went on to the wolf ground here. Here's the two lines, as we said earlier. This line is uh, y is equal to minus 3x, and this line is y equal to 3x plus 6. Let's make sure. Uh, y equal to 3x plus 6 and y equal to 3 minus x. All right, hope that's clear for you. Again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. 
If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.